Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States. And welcome to rural Maryland, where today I wanted to talk about Maryland crab cakes. Now, we're not originally from this part of the country. We've only lived here less than three years. And if you're not from here, and you come here, and you hear all about Maryland crab cakes, you're going to feel the compulsion probably to ask somebody, so where do I get the best crab cakes? And if you ask five people, you'll get five different answers. Okay, because the best is kind of a subjective sort of a thing. And of course, it's much like asking who's the best quarterback. People are going to root for their team. So if you tell somebody, well, I heard that the best Maryland crab cake is here or there or the other place, uh, I, th I think it could actually devolve into a fist fight. These folks take it very, very seriously. Crab cake's big business here in, in Maryland. Um, these are not Alaskan crabs, of course, and they're not Dungeness crabs. These are blue crabs that come locally out of the Chesapeake Bay and have been a very big industry in here since the inception of settling here probably close to 300 years ago. Anyway, so we decided we'd come out today and we would try this local place. We are at Casey's Crab Company and this is their their menu that they've got sitting right on the counter. I'm going to put a link to their website in the description down below for y'all. And uh, I'm sure they have a menu on their website. And we went ahead and we ordered four the the four main crab dishes. Now you can get shrimp or lobster or oysters or different things here. Fish. Um, but we wanted to go with the crab because we wanted to talk about the Maryland crab cake. Now this, folks, is a crab cake. It is a ball of large jumbo, rather, uh, lump crab. And asking somebody what's the best, again, is sort of a subjective thing. Because how do you determine what's best? Is it the largest? Is it the one that has the least binder in it? Is it the one that, you know, has the best flavor? I don't, you know, I don't know. Everybody's going to have their own way of judging what is the best. This place happened to get very good reviews online. Best in the area, as a matter of fact. So we came here to try this. It's just east of Laurel, Maryland, out on Highway 198, for those of you that care. Um, anyway, so we have the crab cake, which is, in this case, is a crab made into a crab cake sandwich. We have crab balls, which is really just a smaller version of these crab cakes. A crab cheese steak. No steak in it, it's just crab and cheese. And then the, the crab cake platter, which includes two sides. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bust one of these open. And no, I didn't order all four of these entrees for myself. Actually, I'm going to split them with Beverly if she eats fast. Okay. But this, let's take a look inside of a crab cake. Now you see very little binder in this, so this would be by many people judged as a very good crab cake because it's Mostly just the jumbo lump crab and only enough binder to hold this all together. So I'm going to take a little piece of this and taste it. I love me some crab. Oh, wow. Oh, man. They've got to invent taste division, folks. Um, yeah, very nice, full, rich fresh, very fresh uh, crab taste to this. Uh, very, very, almost no binder in this at all. They've, they've got just enough to hold this together. Uh, I think there's a little bit of light breading on the outside of that, and then the whole thing is deep fried. Oh my lord, is that tasty. So anyway, I don't know. I'm not going to say it's the best in the state of Maryland, because I don't want to get a lot of hate down in the description box below. But it's certainly very good and has rave reviews. Prices are pretty decent. You, you can see that on, the, on their website. Um, crab, obviously, is a relatively expensive commodity. But this is a Maryland crab cake. And again, you're going to find so many different variations. Some of them that have a lot more binder in them. Um, i got to tell you, being from the Midwest, being from Michigan, when, I, when I, somebody mentioned crab cake, I thought of something that was more like a hush puppy that had a lot more 
uh, breading inside of it to hold this whole thing together. I get here and folks are like, oh God, no, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And, and they get like very, very excited about it. So you gotta be real cautious how you talk to them about it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our lunch and I will let you know when we're done how it is. Okay, folks, well, the first point I'd like to make is that this was not a paid endorsement. I did not get paid or compensated or comp the meal or anything else from Casey's. We just stopped here because we had seen that it had good reviews online, and they were not lying. The food is absolutely delicious. Really, really nice. Uh, service was very, very good, and they were fast. They got the food to the table in just a few minutes. Really great food. The crab balls were, in fact, just a smaller version of the crab cake. Seasoned the same way. Very fresh. Very nice. Really enjoyed everything. Beverly couldn't hold her half of those four dishes. We had to get a to-go box. But anyway, uh, I managed to pound down my half, that's for sure. Really, really enjoyed it. Not positive that I necessarily on the crab cheesesteak necessarily would like the combination of the crab and what appeared to be either a mild cheddar or a perhaps a Colby cheese, but a yellow cheese. Uh, very nice cheese, was very good. But again, that pairing, not necessarily for me, doesn't mean you wouldn't enjoy it. If you ask somebody where's the best crab cake, you're gonna get a varying opinion, no matter who you ask. And like I say, a very adamant opinion about it. <laughs> so, but certainly these folks are a contender for best crab cake in Maryland. And I certainly enjoyed it. Bev certainly enjoyed it. We had a very pleasant time. This is the sign outside the front of the road. We're going to swing around just briefly here and show you the front of the building. It's a tiny place, very limited seating inside, only a few tables. It's a small place, but they got great service and great food. So I, I guess, you know, that, you know, <laughs> it's worth wait. They also have dine in or carry out. Anyway, I got their link to their website down below. Check it out. And I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have an opinion about where the best Maryland crab cake is, Please, folks, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll go ahead and try those places out as well and let you know what I think. But stop in, say hi, whatever. Leave us a comment. We really appreciate hearing from everybody. It's a great way to keep in touch with all of you out there in the community. If you're new here, hey, pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, thank you for watching.